hmm, will it ever stop raining? But I guess it's better than snow. So uh, I think it's a perfect day to do a walkthrough of my brand new 2020 Phoenix 920 Pro XP. Man, what a pretty boat. You can see uh, all gel coat again this year. Love the way that looks. Super, super clean. Got some all new blacked out rims. I think those look super trick. What do you think about those, Justin? I didn't see those uh, on your boat this year. What, what can you say? Yamaha 250 SHO, most reliable, best performing outboard, fresh or salt water. Uh, I got so much confidence in that engine. First year I've ever had a all blacked out TH Marine Atlas Jack place. Super trick looking. So are these uh, 20th anniversary power pole blades. Hard to believe power pole's been around for 20 years. Awesome company, love my power pole blades. You can see right there, Sirius Weather XM, satellite radio and weather, 0.1 antenna. Let's work our way up through here. All new seats in the Phoenixes this year. Tricked out emblem. You can see the stitching, the design's a lot different than previous years. Uh, this part here, a lot taller. Actually, a lot more comfortable handle to me. What's that in the bottom? C deck. I think that's an awesome product. It's actually being installed in my saltwater boat right now. I love that stuff. Uh, that stuff doesn't absorb water. It's very soft. And that's usually the wettest part of your boat when you're fishing in the rain is your floor down there. You can see down there, uh, TH Marine hot foot. Uh, it's got a little pad on it this year. I didn't have that last year, so that's new. Trick blacked out steering wheel on the 2020 Phoenixes this year. I love the way that all looks. You can see my switch for my power poles, my jack plate gauge. Uh, two Lowrance HDS 12 live units. You can see they're mounted on Bass Boat Technologies. Heavy duty gimbal brackets right here. All these Bass Boat Tech trick mounts. I mean, there's there's Bass Boat Technologies mounts and then there's everybody else's. I mean, nothing else even comes close. Working our way up to the front. You see my TH Marine Troll Jacket on there. Again, another HDS-12 live unit. Trick mount. You can see Van makes me a little custom bracket here to mount my KVD HydroWave on. So, uh, let's jump up in here. Show y'all what's in these boxes. So back here, the business end. You can see I got this little sliding tray with some tools in there to change my prop, spare trolling motor prop, little block of wood so I can get this prop on if I need to change it, if I KO something. Uh, there's an e-start system. I've never had to use it, but it'll basically jump your trolling motor batteries to your cranking battery if your cranking battery goes dead. But you can see I run Odyssey Extremes. I'm not a lithium guy. I've been running these batteries here for, shoot, seven or eight years now. I'm not sponsored by them, but I've never had to replace one. Uh, back in there, I'm not sure if you can see it. I've got a Minn Kota four bank charger. Uh, I'm probably gonna be changing that out for the power pole charger as soon as I get one, the power pole charge. In this box behind the driver's seat, you see I just got a bunch of rain suit, uh, got my Rapala Onyx life jacket, toolbox. Uh, you can see there's a double little box that comes with a Phoenix right there. There's toilet paper, lure retriever, fire extinguisher, first aid kit. Just the, I feel like necessities in there. Over here in this box, couple more life jackets. I usually leave this one empty for my camera guy or my my official. Uh, this latch is new this year along with this seal here. Uh, you can see I just got some stuff to keep my sunglasses clean, some aspirin, some chips and stuff for my for my graphs. Navionics chip. There's 
a better picture of the C deck. You can see I got a speaker in there. Another speaker over there so I can listen to my Cody Jinx on break and stuff like that. I usually keep a few spinning rods in here. You can see that's a Randall Tharp Meterman Special Drop Shot Rod with a Shimano Stratic. Uh, I keep just a, that's a rope, docking rope. In this box, I usually keep uh, some scent, but I'm out. And uh, there's my cooler. And you can tell I haven't used this boat yet. I haven't even been in the water. And some Rapala tools under there, pliers, scissors. Center box. You can see top waters, treble hooks. What do we have up here? Skirts, jig heads, square bills, and look at there. I didn't see this in your boat either, Justin. This is brand new option available at Phoenix, but anybody that's ever looked in one of these boats, this is a very deep box. And see how deep all these are. This thing, in my opinion, when I saw it at the plant, I had to have it. I think it's a much more efficient use of space. So basically all this space up top that wasn't being used now, you can see they've got this sliding tray. This is all made out of starboard material. And all the soft plastics that I use on a daily basis, I'm, I decided to keep here. So uh, much more efficient use of space. I'm sure if you've got an older Phoenix, I'm sure these boxes would probably fit in it. So go to your Phoenix dealer if you'd like to have one of these. I think it's freaking awesome, man. I can't, I'm excited about it. Up here on the lid, this piece of foam's new, just a place to stick some hooks or whatever you want. And again, I'll hang my soft plastics up here that I know I'm gonna be using throughout a tournament day. So I don't have to look for them in my new sliding bin that Justin Lucas does not have in his boat. Up front, more Bass Mafia boxes. These are all just bags. You can see spinner baits, brush hogs, I got a Bass Mafia line box. There's some money bags up there full of Zoom Z crawls up in that box. Let's see. This rod box on this side, the driver's side, I usually keep uh, treble hook lures. You can see these are all Randall Tharp cranking sticks. Uh, we got a bunch of mix of Shimano and Lou's reels in here. Uh, DT10. BX Brat, Greenfish Tackle Spinner Bait, bunch of uh, jackhammers right there. And the rod box on the other side. You can see I caught a couple of uh, Shimano Stratix in there. Mix of uh, Shimano and Lou's bait casters all on a Randall Tharp Arc Series rods, except for a couple new, like right here. And right here, these are the brand new arc reinforcers, which I just got. I have not fished with them much, but from when I did, uh, the few days I spent with them, I really, really like them. So you can see that rod, there's probably 15 rods in there, I'd say, maybe more. And then up front, no, TH Marine Troll Jacket. You see the way I got everything set up, my Lowrance, HDS 12 you can see it's right there centered up pretty elevated off the front deck and uh, my hydro wave with all of that so there's a uh, tour of my office this year the next one I will do is I will show you guys in what's in that room right behind that engine which is my tackle room till next time hey eat your heart out Justin